In this example, we are going to solve the given initial value problems. As you see in part A, we have the second derivative minus four times the first derivative minus five times y equals zero. We have the homogeneous equation with the linear form and the constant as a the coefficient as a constant term, one, negative four, and negative five. Set up the auxiliary equation. The second derivative gives you the second power with the coefficient one. So m times one to the second minus four, the first order, which is the first power, the m, the zero order, which is the zero power of the m, or just the constant negative five equals zero. Factor completely to get m minus five times m plus one equals zero. Then we get m equals five and m equals negative one as a two distinct real roots. Then the general solution. In the form of y equals c1 times y1 plus c2 times y2, or c1 times e to the 5x plus c2 times e to the negative one times x or negative x as a general solution. And then the initial conditions are provided as y at one equals zero and y prime at one equals six. We're gonna use these two conditions to find the parameters c1 and c2. To set aside to the y prime equals five times c1 e to the five x minus c2 e to the negative x. To use the first initial condition where x equals one and y equals zero, so the left hand side is zero equals c1 times e to the first plus c2 times e to the negative first to get the equation zero equals c1 times e plus c2 divided by e or zero equals c1 e to the second plus c2. For the first derivative at one equals six, The y prime at one equals six equals five times c one e to the five minus c two e to the negative first. And then we write it as six equals five c one e to the fifth. This is five. this example, we are going to solve the given initial value problem. In part A, we have the second derivative of the y minus 4 times the first derivative of the y minus 5y equals 0 with the initial conditions y at 1 equals 0 and y prime at 1 equals 6. First of all, use the auxiliary equation to find the general solution. We have m to the second minus 4 times m minus five equals zero. Factor completely to get m minus five times m plus one equals zero. Then we get m equals five and the other m is negative one. So the general solution will be in the form of y equals c1 e to the five x plus c2 e to the negative x. From the initial conditions, y at one equals zero. So zero equals c1 e to the fifth plus c2 e to the negative first. Or you can rewrite it as zero equals c1 e to the fifth plus c2 divided by e and then multiply all by e to get zero equals c1 e to the six plus c2 and set it aside. For the second condition, y prime at one equals six. From the general solution, we can write y prime as five c1 e to the five x minus c2 e to the negative x 
and use this to find uh, to and use the second initial conditions within this y prime. So y prime equals six equals five times c one e to the fifth minus c two e to the negative first. We write it as the non-negative power. So six equals five c one e to the fifth minus c two divided by e. And treat the same way as previous step. Multiply all by e, we get 6e equals 5 times c1 e to the 6 minus c2. And next, we are going to solve for c1 and c2. Use these two equations. If we add these two equations together, we're going to get 6e equals 6c1 e to the 6. Therefore, C1 equals E divided by E to the six, which is E to the negative fifth. And then use C1 to find C2. Use the first equation here. We know that C2 is negative C1 E to the power six. So C2 equals negative of the C1 e to the power 6 and C1 is e to the negative fifth times e to the 6. That gives us C2 equals negative e to the first or just negative e. Now we have the particular solution. or the solution of this initial value problem as y equals e to the negative fifth times e to the five x minus e times e to the negative x, or we write it as e to the five x minus five minus e to the one minus x as the solution of this initial value problem. The second example, in part B, we have y double prime plus 25y equals zero, given the initial conditions y at zero equals zero, equals six, sorry, and y prime at zero equals negative two. First of all, find the auxiliary equation, which is m to the second plus 25 equals zero. We get to complex conjugate, which is m equals plus minus 5i. Or you can write it as 0 plus 5i and 0 minus 5i. That means your alpha equals 0 and the beta is 5. Then the general solution for this problem is of the form y equals e to the 0x multiplied by c1 cosine of the beta x, which is 5x plus c2 times psi of 5x. Or we will rewrite it as y equals c1 cosine of 5x plus c2 times psi of 5x as a general solution. With the initial condition y at 0 equals 6, and y prime at zero equals negative two. At x equals zero, y is six. So six equals c1 times cosine zero plus c2 times psi at zero. Psi at zero is zero. Cosine at zero is one. That gives us c1 equals six. And next, the second initial condition, we're going to use y prime. So y prime equals negative 5c1 psi of 5x plus 5 times c2 times cosine of 5x. As x equals 0, y prime is negative 2. So negative 2 equals negative 5 times c1 psi at 0 
plus 5c2 cosine at 0. Again, sine at 0 is 0. Cosine at 0 is 1. We have negative 2 equals 5c2 or c2 equals negative 2 over 5. And then the solution of this initial condition is y equals 6 times cosine 5x minus 2 over 5 times sine of 5x.